going on YouTube? Duskar273 here. I'm um, bringing you a deck profile video today as requested by uh, two people. Um, I can't think of their names off the top of my head. I'm sorry, guys. But um, I'll definitely put you guys in the description. That's for sure. Um, right, so uh, my deck profile video will be on my Photon deck. Uh, let's see if I can locate it. Photon's Galaxy. Here we go. All right. Um, my deck, my Galaxy deck is a Galaxy or Photon deck is com uh, I wouldn't say completely different, but it's different from Make 88s. Um, assuming he's made changes to it, that's all. But right, let's uh. Let's get on with the, the the video. So, my first card I have here is um, Effect Veiler. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory why you, why you will run a Veiler. Um, don't want the, don't want people getting those effects off and yeah, that's about it. Um, obviously, the main card of the deck is Galaxy S Photon Dragon. Uh, you want to run three, just because um, he's pretty easy to get out in this deck. Um, next, I have um, this is a a change card art I put onto here. Um, oop, almost don't like. Um, it's a Lila Light Sworn Sorceress. I run two because of. Um, because she helps mills, helps you mill um, photon dragon, and you know other things that that can help you. Like, let's see. Like, I run, I run one galaxy zero. Um, you know, just to get something out. But I'll come to more explanation when I get to that card. Um, three galaxy knights because he's the second main most important card of the deck. I would say. Second or third, in my opinion. Um, some people choose to run them at two. I run them at three just because I run three trade ins. And you always got to have that draw power. Draw power is extremely useful. Um, right. Um, next card you want to add. Um, if you're going to be running a Galaxy Photon deck, I call it Galaxy Photon, I don't know why. Um, you gotta run Galaxy Wizard. It's it. Its effects are basically phenomenal for this kind of deck. You can, um, you can increase its level by four, basically doubling it to level eight. So if you already got a Photon Dragon on the field, um, say you activate Sanctuary, which brings you two tokens that have two thousand attack. Um, you bring them out due to Galaxy Eyes. You normal galaxy wizard, you can increase its level to 8. Boom, boom, prime, tachyon, any rank 8, preferably, besides photon, neo galaxy photon, I mean. Um, and he also helps you rota. Um, rotoing is very useful for this deck, considering. Um, uh, let's see what I'm trying to think of here. Considering you don't really, um, there's like six cards um, that you really need to have as a, what's the word, what's the word, sorry guys, I can't think properly today, um, it helps you search, that's that's basically what I'm trying to get the point out is, um, just in case you don't draw into galaxy eyes, like, um, um, make height, make height 88's, uh, video where he used this deck, or his own variation of the deck, um, that will be linked as well, down below, uh, check him out, he's definitely a good guy, he's a very good guy, um, he, he used Galaxy, he had drawn Galaxy Wizard in his first draw, and it was pretty phenomenal how he made an OTK. I've only made one OTK with this deck, and it was on the dev bot, so. Yeah, I feel skillful now. Um, next card of the deck. Um, it's This is a really helpful card for the deck. 
Photon Thrasher. You want to run it? I run at three. Some people choose to run at two. Um, you never want to run them at one. Running them at one is a no. A no no. Because you, you're going to be needing them a lot. Um, just, uh, again, uh, uh, pulling off of what Makeite's video was, he, he special Thrasher, and then he normaled Galaxy Knight. Due to Galaxy Knight's effect, he can be normal without tributing if you control a Galaxy or Photon monster. And then, uh, he activated Trade In before and got a Photon Dragon in the grave. And boom, 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 combo. And yeah. Um, this card is optional as how many you want to run. It is Photon Crusher. He's really just there for the extra power to get out Photon Dragon. Um, that's really all I could really say about him. Um, he's also 2000 Beater, just in case you want to like get rid of something on the field first. Um, but that's all I have about him. My next card, it's I've been debating as whether to run it or not, and how many to run. It is Photon Satellite. That is, it's, it's basically um a chance to get a, a rank five like Volcasaurus or Tyrus. Um, do I have another rank five in here? Do, 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 do. Eh. I do not. So I only got these two. But um. Basically, what you want to do is, is if you have a level four out, um, like Crusher, and he stays on the like you don't attack and he stays on the field, and the opponent plays defense, you can normal satellite, and then you activate its effect. You get a both their levels become level uh, I almost said eight, a level five. You can make Volcasaurus and Tyrius, um, and that's basically it. I've been thinking about dropping him to add more. Uh, like another photon card, I think it's in here somewhere. Photon. Do do do. Um. I think it's Wyvern. Wyvern or Leo. One of the two, because their their effect is like really good. Um, it's completely debatable. I have yet to test it out, considering Devbot is currently offline today so I, I can't test it out I can't test any changes um, but yeah that's my opinion on satellite um, the next card is a must if for any light deck and that card is honest and boy oh boy does honest come in handy these Freaking honest. What else do you want me to say about him? He's self-explanatory, considering his entire deck is light-based. <sighs> right. The next card is something that is kind of unusual for pe um, people that don't expect in this deck. And it is Light and Darkness Dragon. Um, he's mainly there for if I draw into him, if I top deck him along with Trade-In. Um, then he's the card I'll get rid of, but he's also very easy to get out in this kind of deck. Um, Photon Sanctuary is preferably, like, if you have Photon Sanctuary hand and Light and Darkness Dragon, you can activate Sanctuary, then uh, tribute them to get Light and Darkness Dragon, and thus, like, negating everything your opponent tries to do. Which is very helpful considering if you want to get out um, uh, something uh, like Prime or Heliopolis. I don't mean, well. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe just getting him out in the field solo would be better considering most of the uh, deck r runs on the effects. So that might not be a smart idea, but I run him anyways for a uh, trade in just to mill him. Or drop him, I should say. Um, for the spells, we got Dark Hole, like before, self-explanatory. It's a useful card, and I'm glad it's at 1, because if it was at 2, I'd feel that everyone would be drawing into Dark Holes, like, non-stop. But, um, next card is Foolish Burial. This card is extremely helpful if you want to get a Galaxy Eyes in the Graveyard. Um, 
It's also helpful for um, milling something for Galaxy Zero. Now that I'm seeing Galaxy Zero's useful, usefulness as I'm explaining, I might get rid of MST for it. But, um, that's Foolish Burial for you. The next card is Galaxy Expedition. This card is a must at three. Um, people say that you only need two. When I find three uh, really useful, considering that, um, like, normally I draw into Galaxy Knight uh, and Photon Thrasher uh, when I first draw my first five, and then for my six, I draw into Galaxy Expedition, Expedition, excuse me, and yeah, I make the playoff with Galaxy Expedition to get Photon out, Photon Dragon on the field, and, but yeah. Um, three is all. I say it's a must, but the more I look at it, it's more of a preference as based on your luck. Me, um, I said in my other video that it's even though it's my favorite, um, top five, probably number one or two. I know it's kind of contradicting saying it's favorite, but putting it one or two, um. It's just that my deck doesn't really like allow me to have some luck. Like, it, it's some of this deck is based on luck. I will tell you that right now. All right, enough babbling. Moving on. Um, the next card is Galaxy Zero, which is entirely, entirely up to you how many you put. Um, I put it at one just because I don't see myself needing it that much, considering I have enough summoning power to get out. My rank eight's extremely fast. Um, two might be a, a maximum for me, um, but it's but it is a must in this deck. You at least need to uh, run one. Um, the next cards are Mystical Sta Space Space Typhoon. Excuse me, and I'm considering dropping it for dropping one of them for Galaxy Zero. But since Heavy Storm was banned, you know, you need to get rid of them face downs. Simple as that. The next card is Photon Sanctuary, and this is yet another card dependent on how many you want to run. Two, I would say, is a minimum. Unless you can find another way to get out um uh two thousand attack monsters on the field really fast. Um like a rank four spam deck. I feel like that would be a waste in a rank 4 spam deck. Just my opinion. Um, but yeah. I did run 3 at a time, but I kept finding myself drawing into it too often. And not having Galaxy Eyes or Galaxy Knight in hand. and it was Or Wizard, for that matter. And I, I kept finding myself like not having a use for it. So I put it down at 2. <sighs> Oh, one speech. Um, the next card is trade in. Considering you have what is it? Nine? No, not nine. Um, I can't do math right now. Um, seven level eights. Um, it's it's always great to have draw power. You you, you need draw power. Um, like if you draw into Galaxy Knight, you don't draw into Galaxy as Photon. Don't be afraid to mill Galaxy Knight. Don't be afraid to. Um, he could help you draw into like I've had this happen to me. Um, I draw into I my ha opening hand was a Galaxy Knight, a Crusher, an MST, a Satellite. I think a Lila, and then I drew into trade in, and then I traded a uh, Galaxy Knight in, and I got another trade in and Photon Dragon. Along with it, I'm like, holy crap, this is lucky as hell. But, where did I left? Oh, trade in. Sorry. <laughs> Next off are the traps. Five traps, pretty mandatory. Traps are there, are there just to, you know, help you defend if you're not, like, if you're waiting for to top deck something or draw into something. I think it's the same thing. I'm not familiar with these Yu Gi Oh terms, but uh, bottomless staple. Fiendish Chain, I'm considering is a staple nowadays. Um, warning, just because 
it's not really that fun to torrential your own crap when you need it on the field. Um, sure, the 2000 is kind of hefty, but it's better than Judgment where you got half your life points. Um, Compulse, just so you don't um, have something on their field to like prevent you from OTKing. Like, if you're about to OTK and he summons like a monster with like, I don't know, 100 points. Um, that could change, that could stop you from OTKing. There's that. And then, one Mirror Force, considering that two are really pushing it for me. I don't know why. I don't know, I just, that's how I feel about Mirror Force. Um, it's gonna be a long video. Um, but yeah, those are the traps. And that's the main deck. Yeah. I don't run side, because I find side decking kind of useless. Because considering Dev Pro, there are no matches or tournament matches or anything like that. It's kind of useless to run a side deck. If there are some, please let me know because I have no clue as to how that works. All right, for the extras, um, running all XYZs. Even though I'm running a Valor, it's kind of redundant to normal a Valor. I don't know why would you normal a Valor. Um, I want I run two Galaxies Prime Photons considering. Um, you you need room for some other things, and two is that a good amount? An amount? Amount? Um, uh, they fixed its card text. Nice. This is I said Dev Pro at the beginning of the video, but this is Dev Pro. I don't know about Yu Gi Oh Pro. Um, so yeah, if it doesn't have Galaxy Eyes as material, any battle damage. Yeah, any battle damage is halved involving this card, so he'll be at 8,000 when he comes back to the field due to his effect. And then if he doesn't have Galaxy as his material, any damage is half. So if your opponent somehow, uh, uh, let's see, if, he dark, if your opponent dark holes him, he comes back during your second standby phase and your opponent has no monsters on the field. You attack and he would get 4,000 instead of 8,000. We can do math. Um, next is one Tachyon, considering I find Tachyon's effect kind of kind of useless. I almost said kind of pretty useless. That would have been weird. Um, his effect is nice to where if you have Thrasher out, to where he can attack. Um, but he doesn't Tachyon doesn't get the thousand and second attack boost from that, but it's perfectly okay. Next card is Heliopolis, which is a must, I say a must in this deck. Consider you um, get it out with Photon Thrasher, Photon, and or go Sanctuary, Knight, Photon Dragon, um, you get Heliopolis, and you have two monsters, plus any monsters in your hand you want to get rid of, like another Galaxy Eyes, to obliterate his field. <clears throat> Think about running him at two. Nah, considering that usually when he's when he gets the field, it's usually game. Um, I run a couple of rank fours, like five, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, completely off. Uh, I run seven just because there's a shite ton of level fours. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, I run Utopia just because he's a twenty-five hundred beater. Omega, um, Constellar Omega, due to, um, you can, um, ditch one of the materials and then he'll be unaffected. He's a 24 hour beater, which is very nice. Um, Photon Papillative, kind of self explanatory considering it's a Photon card and it's a ta uh, attack. Effect is pretty cool. Um, next one is a card I always run. I, Always run this, no matter what kind of deck it is. I always run this card. It's Silent Honors, and I think he got a new artwork uh, in the latest updates. I don't remember what, what when, but I think he got new artwork. But just because his effect is pretty much self-explanatory, I'm, okay, I'm gonna get rid of this. This is blinking; it's distracting me. Um, there we go. Um. Everybody nowadays is a special summoning crap, and it's extremely useful to get rid of that. Like my, uh, I think it was, um, 
It was my Bujante versus Agents. God damn it, I did it again. Agents. And he pulled out a Master Hyperion on me. I don't even remember what video it was. Um, and I'm just like, I don't want that on the field, so I saw an honors to him, and he surprisingly didn't draw into one. Uh, next is uh, Star Liege Lord Galaxian, or Radiant Light Emperor Galaxian. This card is a must for this deck. Um, considering my video with my Photon deck, the first one and only one I have uploaded, which I'll be uploading more, by the way. Um, I had two Galaxy Eyes Photon, two Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragons in my hand, and I just kept using his effect to bring them out and make Neo Galaxy Eyes. Next is Star Liege Paladynamo. Um, He's kind of self-explanatory, considering his effect is good. He's a rank 4. Um, and he lets you draw a card, which is really great. You need that draw power. Um, um, by the way, these are all optional. Um, for me, I say these these three right here. Photon Papillative, Sound Honors, and Galaxian are a must in this deck. The rest you can choose all up to you. Um, I run my stroke. Once again, self-explanatory is staple. And then Neo Galaxy Eyes. I only want run one because he's kind of hard enough to get out as it, as it is. I mean, May Kite's video made him look easy. But, yeah, that's really... Like, you only have, like, one chance to get out um, Neo Galaxy Eyes Photon, and then... Usually, once you get them out, it's pretty much game. Um, next uh, are two rank fives for the satellite effect, and that is uh, Tyrus. I almost called Tyrus. Tyrus, Keeper Genesis. Again, self explanatory for a rank five. And a staple rank five, Volcasaurus. Um, I just run it because his effect is perfect. And then you can immediately go into Gaia, Dragon the Thunder Charger. Self-explanatory. If you're on a rank 5, you got to run Gaia. Just self-explanatory. Um, that is my deck list, guys. Um, thank you all for watching. I don't care about my FPS. Um, thank you all for watching. Uh, it's been Deathcar273. Um, if you have any questions about the deck list, if I confused you on something or if you'd like to see some changes or if you have changes yourself um, please let me know I'm open to any ideas so thank you all for watching like comment subscribe and until next time it's been Descar 273 and I'm out of here